Ahoy, a pegster here with some closed alpha of Mission Control Studios game, Jackhammer, which is published by Green at Mike Kelly. This game is based in the 22nd century, where rocket powered robots fight to the death in television's most brutal sport, Jackhammer. A new sci-fi sports FPS. Now that's lifted directly from Mission Control Studios website. It's not my own creative writing, but that is it. Now on first appearance, all seems a bit rustic and raw like. I quite like it. Well that could be my settings may have to have a play with. <clears throat> so here we are in the menu screen. I'm just gonna have a little play with the sound settings as value my ears, and I'm getting a little old and I don't want to lose any sense of hearing. <laughs> just yet. So let's turn them all down a little bit. Uh, about 50% should do it if I can manage to get this done. Now this also seems to be the area you can mod or customise your metal beast, so let's see what we can do. I like it, it's simple. Head, torso, arms, legs. A decent selection, considering we're an alpha. Um, it'll be interesting to learn and see where we're heading with this, and if we get new skins for as rewards or as we progress. XP based, win based, who knows. But hopefully not at any personal cost. But you can imagine some DLC similar to other games, you know, like Rocket League, which is about any game actually which has DLC these days. Or maybe uh, perhaps some kind of superhero like a robot. Well, I don't know, maybe one by Mr. Stark, perhaps. Okay, so here or she is. <laughs> Dressed to impress. We look alright. Let's see where we can fight. So for this alpha, we've got three arenas and one game mode. Uh, the game mode is Elimination. Uh, the website describes it as you compete in teams of three to be the last robot standing. In these games I've played, actually, and these were the first games I've played, uh, it was generally 1v1. And uh, I really should have looked at the keys before diving right in, but hey ho, to battle! I like this actually, a nice little speedy lift or elevator for those who don't use the word lift to the arena. No weapons, no punching, no kicking, so it's not really like real steel. What we do is basically we have to grab one of these balls indicated by the white marker. We have to hold the button, charge it, and then throw at our opponent. It's a bit like murder ball, dodgeball, but <laughs> on steroids or on a robot with a jump and a rocket pack. The controls are very simple. I thought I've looked at them, but it's quite easy to work out. W A S A D, space bar, shift, left mouse. <laughs> But yeah, the controls are simple, and I think you could pull off some great trick shots with some practice uh, once you get the hang of the jumping and using the jetpack, that is. Now, the game is in alpha. There are a few bugs, such as not entering combat when both players are ready. I did have that a few times. A failure to find a match, however, it's the testing period of the game. It's fairly new out. There's only seven days of it, so I'd simply put that down to the amount of players available online. What I have found a bit bugging is uh, the score system being correctly recording your round matches a loss, even though you may actually be winning on points. Uh, and painfully, <laughs> as you're about to see in this next match, sometime uh, just exit the match completely, and even more so than only if you're ahead on points. But putting it quite simply, just think along the lines of the good old TV show Robot Wars and the film Real Steel. And you won't be far off wrong, or maybe not the latter actually, because what you get here is a robot arena based FPS, and I use that term loosely, not the, not the term robot, but the term FPS, as you don't actually have any weapons at this time. What you do have are balls around the arena, or around the three arenas which are open to test in this alpha. And what you have to do is basically grab hold of one of those balls, you need to charge it, and then let it loose, roughly in the direction of your opponent, and killing him. The game is currently in closed alpha, and I have access for the next seven days the time we're recording this. So it's probably around five or maybe six at the moment. Now the game of course will be available at some point, so keep your eyes peeled on the Steam Shop and Green Man Gaming. And I think you certainly find some good deals on the latter. Not that I'm biased, but there's a link for Green Man Gaming below. Make sure you check it out, because until this game becomes available, there's plenty more to tempt you. As they're currently having a crazy sale, which uh, ironically is called March Madness. See the link in the description. Now if you haven't signed up for this current test, sadly you've missed your chance. Until the next bout of testing that is, I'll put a link below in the description of a Mission Control Studios website and all you have to do is sign up for their newsletter. Uh, when the details of the next testing are available, you'll be first to know.
So that's Jackhammer. I try and get some live gameplay up on Twitch before the alpha stops, so stand by for that. And guess what? There'll be a little link for that also below in the description. So thanks for watching and come back soon. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Us little creators need an ever helping hand thanks to YouTube's new Only the Mighty Will Survive policy. But thank you and happy hunting.